Yes, let me tell you some hidden facts that you don't know in mathematical induction. You see this um, as, uh, this equation here, this formula here, is used to derive each of these terms, each of them. Why this is for the sum. Now, if I say n equals to 1, before I come back to the step, let me explain this first. If I say n equals to 1, this will become 2 times 1 minus 1. That is 2 minus 1 will give me what? 1, which is this. If n equals to 2, it will give me this. If n equals to 3, after the simplification, it will give me this, right? So, um, I don't want to waste time on that. So, there are three major steps involved in mathematical inductions. Your, your proving does not go beyond these three, okay? So, first step, which is the basic step, is to let n equals to 1. Yes, if n equals to 1, you will prove for the left-hand side and the right-hand side. The second step is the induction step. You assumed that n equals to k. You understand? Why the third step is n equals to what? k plus 1. Just try to take note of these three steps. In all mathematical induction, your steps does not go beyond these three. So let's, say, let's start from the beginning, which is let n equals to what? Equals to 1. Now, from this equation at the left-hand side, the left-hand side, this is the equation at the left-hand side, right? I have um, 2n minus 1. So if I replace this n with 1, it will give me what? 1 times 2, right? And 1 times 2 will give me what? 2, which will be 2 minus 2. So this give us this give us one. That's our left hand side. So our right hand side, we prove for both, both the left hand side and the right hand side. We have what? This is the equation we have at the right hand side. That will be what? N squared. So if I replace this n with one, that will give me one square. And one square simply means one times one. And one times one give me what? One. So we can see that. Um, for the first step, which is n equals to 1, the left-hand side is equal to the what? It's equal to the right-hand side. That is, left-hand side equals to the what? Right-hand side. That is the first step. So, next one is to look at uh, the second step. Step 2, which is the induction step. That is, we assume that n equals to k. You assume. You understand? So, I will write all this. I will replace wherever I find n with k. I will replace this with k. So, at the left-hand side, I have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus um, 2n. Now, instead of me writing 2n, I will replace it with what? With k, which should be what? 2k. You understand? And here, instead of me writing n square, I will replace with what? k square. That is, let, let n equals to k. Yes. So that is for that. So the third step is to let n. We are done with the second step. So the th third step is to let n equals to k plus 1. So the third step, we said what? Let n equals to what? k plus 1. So this is where the problem comes. But please, I will encourage you to stay focused. I will break it down to this. Okay? Now, I want to replace n with k plus 1. I want to replace n with k plus 1. Anywhere I find n, I will replace it with what? k plus 1. So, um, let me write. Then we have what? 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus dot, dot, plus. Um, but then before I replace n with k plus 1, I already replaced n with k before, right? So, I will write for this first, which is 2k minus 1. Then, in the next one, I will now replace n with what? k plus 1. Plus. And if I replace n with k plus 1 here, yeah, I will have 2 into brackets k plus 1 minus 1. This 2 is this. This n represents k plus 1 here, yeah, minus 1, which is this. So, at the right-hand side... I will have what? I will have, um, instead of me writing n square, I will, have, I will have k plus 1 all into brackets square. Because this k plus 1 is equal to what? n. Now, if you notice something here, 
you see that from here to here is the same thing as from here to here one one plus plus three three plus plus five five so from here to here the same thing as from here to here and we said from here to here is equals to k square okay if from here to here is equals to k square what will from here to here be so from here to here too it will be what k square because from here to here is the same thing as from here to here which is equals to k square so instead of me writing this to this place to this point i will replace it with what k square so at the left here i have k square plus this plus is there because it's only from here to here and we have two if i use two to open this in this bracket here i will have 2k plus 2 2k plus 2 minus what minus this one this 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 minus one is already there before so here i have k plus one because it, it is in two form so it will be k plus one all right so at the left here i have k square plus so here i have two k plus two minus one it will give me what plus one equals to now let's open the brackets here k times k will give me what k square k times one give me what plus k plus one times k will give me what plus k plus one times one will give me what plus one so here i have at the left here i have k square plus 2k plus one why are the right here what will i have i have k square k plus k they are the same so it will give us what 2k plus one now what do you notice here we notice that our left hand side is equal to the what to the right hand side that is therefore left hand side equals to the what right and side then since left hand side is equal to right hand side we say that the induction the induction okay since left hand side equals to right and side comma the induction the mathematical induction induction is what is true it's true so you, you can watch out my other videos on mathematical inductions on my youtube channel watch out my other videos on mathematical induction subscribe like and comment share to your loved ones thank you